Greetings everyone, Nick DiVirgilio here at my home studio and today's video is the best microphones for singing at home. Let's go. The team at Sweetwater's picked out a really nice wide array of mics for me to demonstrate for you today. I have mics from the more affordable range up to the more expensive range and I have four microphone styles to show you. Dynamic mics, a ribbon mic, large diaphragm condensers, and large diaphragm tube condensers. I'm gonna go into some details on each mic. I'm gonna sing through each mic with some music for you so you can make your own comparisons. Let me quickly tell you how I'm gonna record each mic for your comparison. Every mic is gonna go through my Apollo Twin, through its normal unison mic pre, with no coloration at all, no EQ, no compression, just my voice through the microphone, and I'll do my best to make sure the level is the same for each microphone you're listening to. Also, it's really important to know, every microphone that I'm gonna be showing you today can be used for other things other than vocals, which is really great. Um, so you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck no matter which microphone you go with. And last thing I wanna say is even though I got a really great selection of microphones here today, but it's by no means all of the microphones that Sweetwater has to offer. So make sure you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer to get more info so you can get exactly the microphone you need for your exact situation. And with all that being said, let's get started. The mic I'm talking into right now is the Shure SM7B, a classic recording microphone that's been used on a ton of records. There's so many artists out there that have used this microphone as their mic of choice for their vocals on their records. It works great, it handles a ton of SPL. Um, it's got a really flat response, a cardioid pickup pattern. It's got a bass roll off and a presence boost on the back if you need it. A really nice windscreen, no, no need for another pop filter. Works really well right out of the box just like this. And uh, it's just a classic mic that can be used for so many other things as well. This is a great snare drum mic, a great mic for guitar cabinets, and so many other things. This is the Shure SM7B. La, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, ho. The microphone I'm talking into right now is the Electrovoice RE20, a classic microphone that's been in recording studios for as long as I've been making records, which is kind of a long time right now. And it's also a classic broadcast microphone. A lot of DJs, news anchors, talk radio hosts use this microphone every day as their microphone of choice, and it's a great vocal mic as well. Now, this is a large diaphragm dynamic microphone, so you're going to get some condenser-like qualities out of the large diaphragm. This big housing takes away the need for a pop filter. You won't have any plosives. You can get right on top of this microphone and sing loud into it. It takes a lot of SPL. And it also has this thing that Electrovoice calls variable D, which helps with proximity effects. You can get right up on this microphone or a little bit away from this microphone, and you're going to have clarity no matter where you are. This is the Electrovoice RE20. Oh, 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 Songs about isolation. What time to create? Sit back and learn. Do the things I've been putting off for ages. The mic I'm talking into right now is the AEA KU5A ribbon microphone. AEA makes fantastic ribbon mics. We use them in Sweetwater Studios all the time. Ribbon mics sound great on full drum kits, guitar cabinets, all kinds of situations. But usually, ribbon microphones have a figure eight polar pattern. AEA has figured out a way to make a front addressed ribbon mic. You get great off access rejection from all the noise coming from around the mic. So just what's going right into it is what you're hearing. So this is a really cool microphone for the live stage as well as the recording studio. Also, ribbon mics usually have very low output, so you need a high gain mic preamp. But this mic has active electronics in it, so you can use it with any mic preamp. 
That's a very cool feature. There's a switchable high-pass filter on the back if you need that. And all in all, this is a very cool microphone that sounds great for vocals, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to sing into the microphone. Here we go. Hey, oh, 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 The microphone I'm speaking into right now is the DPA DeFacto 4018 Super Cardioid Condenser Microphone. This is a fantastic vocal mic. You can use this on the live stage as well as in the recording studio. A lot of prominent artists are using this on the live stage right now and touring with it all the time. And it works really great in the recording studio as your vocal mic. Now, it looks like a typical handheld microphone, and it is. It doesn't have the same look as some of the other microphones I'm going to have in this, in this demonstration. But... It works incredibly well, handles a ton of SPL, has great off-axis rejection, and just has a really crystal clean and clear sound. Let's sing into this microphone right now. Here we go. Hey, oh, 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 Stuck inside, singing songs about isolation. Oh, time to create. Sit back and learn. Do the things I've been putting off for ages. The microphone I'm talking into right now is the Audio Technica. 4040, a really nice large diaphragm condenser microphone with lots of great features, and it comes in at a really nice price point. If budget is an issue at all for you, this might be the microphone you're going to want to check out. Again, lots of really cool features like a switchable high pass filter and a 10 dB pad on the back. Those are really great features. Really nice design, crystal clear sound. Comes out of the box with this fantastic shock mount here. You can use this microphone on all kinds of different sound sources, of course. And it sounds really nice on vocals as well. So here we go. Hey, oh, 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 The microphone I'm talking into right now is the Shure KSM32 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. This is a super cool microphone that's been around for a long time, a true studio workhorse. I've used this in Sweetwater Studios on multiple occasions. I've used this live in all kinds of different situations, and it works really well with a bunch of different sound sources, drums, guitars, what have you, and it sounds great on voice as well. It has a lot of pro features that come at a very nice price point. Some of those features are variable high-pass filters on the back, a minus 15 dB pad. This gold-layered, super-thin Mylar diaphragm on the inside gives you that crystal clear sound, internal shock mounting, all kinds of really cool features. And the best part is it sounds great on voice. So let's go for it right now. Here we go. Hey, oh, 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 oh.
microphone I'm talking into right now is the Neumann TLM-103 Large Diaphragm Condenser. Cardioid pickup pattern, really low noise, nice flat frequency response all the way up to about 5K, then there's a little bit of a presence boost, real natural sound off access, classic Neumann look, and it's got the Neumann name so you know the quality is going to be really high. You can use this mic on a, all kinds of different things. You can use it on a live stage as well in the studio, of course. And uh, we're here for vocals, so I'm going to sing into the microphone right now. Here we go. Stuck inside, singing songs about isolation. The microphone I'm talking into right now is the AKG C414 XL2 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. This is a really cool microphone. Studio workhorse. It's been used for years on so many different styles of music and in so many different situations. It's great on lead vocals. Hopefully this demonstration will show you that. But it's also great on drums and guitars and, again, so many other things. And that's because you can sculpt the sound of the microphone right on the microphone. You get up to nine different polar patterns on this mic. All your typical ones from Omni. Wide cardioid, cardioid, hyper cardio cardioid, and figure eight, but you can also go in between all of those settings. Okay, on the back of the microphone, you have a pad that goes from minus six, minus 12, up to minus 18. You also have a high pass filter that goes from 40, 80, up to 160 hertz. So it's, I mean, what a cool thing because you can really, again, sculpt the sound for your exact situation. In this situation, we're doing vocals. So I'm going to sing into the microphone right now. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Stuck inside, singing songs about isolation. The microphone I'm talking to you right now with is the Earthworks SV33 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. A nice rugged design. It's got a great look to it and a beautiful crystal clear sound. Now, if you don't know, Earthworks is well known for making mics that have a great crystal clear sound no matter what the source is you're putting into the microphone. Drums, guitars, acoustic or electric, all kinds of sound sources work really well with Earthworks microphones. This microphone is no exception. On the inside, it's full of all class A circuitry, so it's got a great crystal clear sound. What you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. Nice cardioid pickup pattern, no matter where I'm at on the microphone, whether directly in front of it or off a little bit, either side has the, the same clear sound and just sounds great. I'm going to sing into it for you right now. Here we go. Oh, 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 The microphone I'm talking into right now is the Loughton Atlantis FC387 Large Diaphragm FET Condenser Microphone. This is a super cool mic with lots of really nice high-end professional features on it. You get three pickup patterns, Omni, Figure 8, or Cardioid. I have Cardioid on right now. A plus 10 dB boost if you need it or a minus 10 dB pad if you need it, which is those are great features right there. But what is really brings this microphone to the next level is the three-way voice switching. There's a notch right here on the back, and you get three options for the voice switching, neutral, gentle, or forward. Neutral keeps everything flat. Gentle kind of rolls off the high end a little bit for anything that's bright. And forward brings out the presence a little bit in case you have anything that's really dull. 
I'm going to go down to the gentle settings here for just a second. Here we go. Okay, now I'm on the gentle setting. You can probably tell that the high end's rolled off just a tiny bit. Let's go back to the neutral setting. Here I'm at at the neutral setting, nice and flat. My dog Mabel is joining me for this demonstration right now. Now we'll go to forward. This is the forward setting, and you can really tell that the high end is brought forward. So anything that's dull, you're going to be recording, this might be the option for you to check out. Let me go back to neutral for the vocal demonstration here. Okay, we're back in the neutral setting. The Loud in Atlanta is a really cool microphone. I'm going to sing into it right now. Hey, oh, oh, oh. This microphone is the Warm Audio WA47 Large Diaphragm Tube Condenser. A really nice microphone that harkens back to the Vintage 47s with its look, its vibe, its feel, and its beautiful sound. A lot of really nice features come with this microphone, like nine polar patterns, all accessed from its power supply, and some really nice internal components. JJ Slovak 5751 vacuum tubes, Wima and Solon French capacitors, a TAB Funkenwerk USA output transformer, and a custom reproduction of the Vintage 47 capsule. You put all that together and you get a really nice vocal sound, and you can use this on all kinds of other things as well, just saying. So I'm going to sing into it right now. Here we go. Hey, oh, 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 oh. This microphone is the Mojave MA200 Large Diaphragm Tube Condenser Microphone. A beautiful full-bodied sound, great crystal clear precision to the sounds, great for vocals, great for all kinds of instrumentation. We use this at Sweetwater Studios all the time for all kinds of things. It's a really good go-to mic for us. This mic was developed and created by David Royer, and I had the honor of interviewing David not too long ago at the factory in Burbank, California, to get behind the process of what he thinks about, how he's developing these microphones, and the thought he puts into them. The man is a total expert on microphones, and that's why they sound so great. This microphone has a hand-selected 3-micron capsule, Jensen audio transformers, military-grade vacuum tubes, its own power supply, so no need for phantom power, and it's just a really nice-sounding microphone, and I'm going to sing through it right now. Here we go. Hey, oh, 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 oh. This microphone is the Telefunken TF29 Large Diaphragm Tube Condenser Microphone. A beautiful, crystal clear sounding mic, beautiful for vocals, and great on any instrument. If you put a couple of these, if you're a drummer, and you put a couple of these above your drum kit, you're going to have a fantastic overhead sound. I know from experience. Telefunken is a great partner for us at Sweetwater Studios and Sweetwater in general. They make fantastic microphones. This one is no exception. This particular mic has a fixed cardioid pattern. 5654W NOS vacuum tubes, Lundahl output transformers, its own power supply, rugged construction, a really great look. You know, the grill up here has this copper color to it. They call it the copperhead. It's just fantastic. Really cool microphone. I'm going to sing into it right now. Here we go. Hey, oh, 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 oh,
stuck inside singing songs about isolation This is the Manly Reference Large Diaphragm Tube Condenser Microphone, a killer microphone that's a standard in so many recording studios. It sounds amazing on vocals no matter what the style of music. You can put this on any other instrument as well. It's completely handmade at their factory in Chino, California. All tube design, custom wound output transformers, a switchable 10 dB pad right on the microphone, a cardioid pickup pattern, its own power supply, and here's what it sounds like with my voice. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Stuck inside, singing songs about isolation. One last microphone I want to talk about that definitely deserves an honorable mention and then some is the Slate VMS ML1, large diaphragm condenser microphone. On its own, this mic has a really nice, clean and transparent sound, but when you couple this mic with Slate's VMS virtual microphone system, the VMS One Mic Pre and their software, you basically get nine microphones in one. Really cool piece of recording gear. So if you need a bunch of microphone choices in your arsenal but maybe can't afford to buy all of them separately, well, this might be something you definitely want to consider. So talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer about more information on the Slate virtual microphone system. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video on the best microphones for recording vocals at home. I know there was a lot of microphones to get through here in this video, but I hope it will help you find the best piece of gear for your exact situation. If you want any more information about any of the microphones you saw in this video, make sure you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep making music, everyone.